back with another video and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of a really cool ring light that I got from Timu recently. In case you all missed my original haul of this video, I am going to leave it linked down in the description box below. But I'm excited about this because I got it in order to do more reels and shorts and videos like that. So I'm going to go ahead and get this unboxed with you all and set up, okay? So, first detach this little piece that's hanging on. Okay, get that detached first. And then I'll go ahead and open this one up. So I'm gonna open up the ring light portion of it first. Let's see here. Okay. Nice. Okay. So this here is the ring light. And this here is the instructions about how to use it, about the switch, the, like the remote switch part. So I'm gonna go ahead and assemble this. So again, this is a 10 inch ring light, okay? So this is nice. This is nice. Um, I'm assuming, what is this for? Oh, this is kind of cool. I've never seen this gadget before. Oh, that is really cool. Oh, wow. So that means you can place it on the base here and then you can attach your camera or you can attach your phone. That's pretty nifty, you guys. I don't think I've ever seen anything come with this little wizard of a gadget here. I love that. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna attach this piece to it because I think that's gonna be better than this one here. This one here is just a ball and hook which, I mean, could be used to. Oh, this attaches to it as well. Wait, say what now, y'all? Okay, this is cool, hold on now. I don't think I've seen this type of gadget before. This is very multifunctional here. Okay. What? Okay, so I'm gonna just attach this piece just to attach it, because this is what normally comes with all of these. And then now we have this ball and chain here that can also connect to this. Is that what we do? I don't even know. But we're gonna screw it on here and see if it fits. And it does fit. Okay, well that's pretty cool. So that fits on here too. And then even from there, oops, did I just break that out? Okay, y'all, I don't know what I'm doing. Hold on, let me just, okay. I think I'm gonna just put this on here because I think this is what I wanna use. So you just attach this piece onto here like so, okay. And then from there you unscrew this and then you can move this piece around. I don't, I've never actually seen this type of head for um, a ring light, but I think it's great. And it more, more, more ring lights need to include this so that there can be some versatility on if you wanna use your camera, so that there could be some versatility over if you wanna use your camera or your phone. So I'm gonna attach that like this. And I'm also going to plug in the ring light just to see um, how bright it gets, okay? Let's test that out really quick. Now that that's plugged in, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. Let me zoom out a little bit more here. Oh, this is really nifty, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. So this is what it looks like on. Oh, it's flickering. No, oh, it's flickering. I'm going to go ahead and turn the light all the way up. And I'll rotate through it. Oh, well that's a little sad, my light flickering, y'all. But these are the three colors that it offers. So it has the bright white, it has the warm light, well, it has the bright light, the off white, and then the warm light, okay? I don't know why though it's flickering. Well, that makes me sad. Can you guys see it flicker? I wonder if I got a faulty one. Let's see if I turn it off and turn it back on. Yep, it's definitely flickering. Well, that's a bummer. Hmm, let me try one more thing here, hold on. Okay, you guys, so I figured out what the problem was. So I, I, have it pl I had it plugged into like this USB strip 
um, that's supposed to save me some outlets over here, but I don't think it was powerful enough to chart to, to power this on. So now when I turn it on, you all don't see that it's flickering, meaning that um, that little outlet I have is just not powerful enough to, to power this on. So now it's on without any flickering. And this is what the, like the second light, so this is what the first light looks like. This is what the warm light looks like. And this is like the white light. And you can turn it all the way up, like so. And you can turn it all the way down. And then I'm gonna turn my ring light off, my big ring light. So you can see how bright it is. So this is it when you first turn it on. And then I'm gonna cycle through the lights. So this is the first light. This is the warm light. This is the white light. And I'll turn it all the way up. And I think that's the brightest it gets. And I'm gonna turn it all the way down. You all see it gets a little bit dimmer. So you can play around with the different light settings on it, which is really awesome. Okay. So that's what the lights look like again. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna turn on my ring light, my big one here. Okay. And then I'm gonna go ahead and attach the piece for the camera okay so I bought this specifically for doing reels and shorts so I'm gonna probably end up keeping my camera piece attached at all times that is so cool I love that it it angles out and points down a lot of these uh, ring lights they don't point down this this mechanism here is definitely needed for these types of um, ring lights especially these smaller ones so now I'm gonna open the second part of the package here so I'm gonna put this off to the side let's go ahead and see what's all in here oh it's already open okay That's pretty cool. So it comes with these legs here. All right. How does this work? Oh, never mind, you guys. Now I know what it's for. Sad face. <laughs> I'm all excited about it, and it's not even what it's for. That sucks. No, they need to make mechanisms like that, though. I might have to go find that somewhere else. So these here are the legs. Let's see, that's supposed to be used to set the ring light on. Let's see. Oh no, it is, okay, I think it worked. Okay, so then to attach it to the base here, you will, you, I screwed off this part here. All right, so you screwed it off and then you screw it back in. Now, if it came with instructions, I don't know, but I'm just kind of going off my intuition here. So, you screw the base one like this, very nice, very cool, I like that, okay. And then up top here, that's where you'll screw on your ring light. I'm going to assume that the ring light part goes right here, but then it can't face down. Well, I guess it don't really need to since it has that other piece. Okay, I think this is how it's supposed to go. I have no idea. Okay, so I think where the metal is, that's where you screw on the ring light head. Okay. Well, no, that's not right, because it needs, it's supposed to arc down. Okay, no, I didn't do this right, so I think I did it backwards, so let's try it again. Okay, I think this part is supposed to go. Okay, I need to go and see. I'm gonna go look at a picture and see. All right, y'all, so I had this piece correct. Okay, y'all, I had to go online and figure out how this thing is supposed to be. So according to this picture, I just went ahead and found it on Amazon. So according to this picture, right, this ball joint thingy is supposed to go into the long piece and then go to the ring light. So ahead and do that so then the ball joint piece here I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and make that straight like so and then that screws on to here and then from here that screws on to the ring light okay so like this Push the ring light on here. Okay, perfect. Okay, that's how it's supposed to go. Now that makes more sense. Now we have it together, and then I'm going to go ahead and adjust this 
so that the head can go down. All right, y'all, I got it figured out. I'm gonna turn that here, tighten this up, and then boom, here we go. <laughs> that took a little while to get, but this is what we're working with here, okay? So this is the ring light, this is the view that essentially the, the, the camera is gonna see, all right? And so I'm gonna go ahead and unanchor this part. Let's see, loosen this up, just tightened it. And then have this facing down like so. Okay, and then tighten that here. So you put your phone in here. Okay, and it'll hold it into place. And then you do like, oh, there we go. Okay, now, we, now we're in business. And then now you can go on and film your content, you guys. So it's hard to see here. Maybe I guess if I slide the camera up some, right? Then you can go ahead and comfortably be able to do your nail tutorials. I think this is actually a genius idea. And what's nice about it too is that these feet, you know, sometimes when you used to film and you know, your phone and your camera and you don't have a lot of space, the feet be in there. It's nice that they designed this so that the feet or out of the view of the camera and all you really see are the hands. So say if I'm doing a nail design, let's see if I can switch it to video. So say if I'm doing, oops. So say if I'm doing a nail design here, I'm comfortably working right now. Nothing's in my, my way, nothing's in my space. I can sit here, I can paint a nail, I can do some, I can do some nail art, I can showcase a product, etc all without having the difficulty of having something in the way and the legs in the way. So I think this is a cool idea, cool concept. I love this. Like I said, it's gonna make making my reels, my shorts, my TikTok videos such a breeze and so quick to make. And this is, I don't know, this is really nice and handy. Think about those who do food, who do really small arts and crafts, all different type of things. This is an awesome ring light for that. I'm gonna go ahead and stop that here. <laughs> um, and then I also like the fact too that it can get even longer. So I'm having it, I have it on the shortest uh, distance, but if you wanted to, you guys, you can make this even longer. So this is an awesome find from Timu. Oh my goodness. Um, let's see. Oof, I don't even know how to. Yeah. I guess I'll just leave it like this. <laughs> But this here is an awesome find from Timu. I am definitely gonna be getting a lot of use out of this. As you all can see, like I said, this is such a nice hands-free way to do things. And also too, if you all are just wanting a new ring light to film nail content on, this is also a really good option for those who have very, very limited space and wanna film videos and designs and nail art, etc. I might actually use this to film a lot of my press on nail videos, to be honest with you. Um, Cause I think that'll make things a lot easier and quicker, especially if I want to do like a quick one nail situation and design on one nail. Do you all have something like this? Do you plan on getting one? I can already tell I'm going to get a lot of use out of this product. So very happy that I found this on Timu, such a steal. I think this was only $8, like eight or $9. So a really great price for an awesome product. So again, I'm going to leave everything that I'm going to leave this link down in the description box below, along with all the other items that I got from my original haul. This is just going to make life a lot easier. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. If you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around. Join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below. And I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye.